I'm ordering from Creative Arts because they have all of the Julie Nutting dies, the stamps with the coordinating dies and stamp sets and paper pads and tags and Prima paper she had it all. And she said, Kim said that whatever was not on the website yet, they were going to try and have it all up by the end of this week coming. So you guys can keep checking back or you can give them a call or log on to the website because you can download the list of the Julie Nutting dolls you have and you ask, you can, you know, ask them if they have them in stock. And if they have them in stock, then of course you can place an order for them. She said that, um, mention my name and they will still honor the Scrapbook Expo um, show price, which is if you buy five, you get the six one free. So again, this is Creative Arts. They are the sweetest, and they have that new line by Katherine Moore, which is super, super dope. So, of course, I have um, multiple planners, and I'm adding this to my planner stash. So, I have three of these already, and this is the fourth one. This is the fourth one that I was missing, and this one is the sorry, Make Kindness Happen stamp set. And this is super cute, everything from flowers and... Um, inspirational, motivational little quotes. You can't see them because of the dyes, but are they cute? Look at my two dolls. And I also chose these because these dolls I did not have. I won't buy this um, complete planner stamp set if I already have the actual doll. So that's that one. That was one. Here's Tasha. I love Tasha. Tasha is super adorable. She's my second favorite after Taylor. So, I love Tasha. Super cute. That's that one. And here's Julia. Um, wow, I sound like I'm talking to my child. I'm so sorry. This is super cute. I adore her. She is so cute. Love her little outfit. I could just see interchanging that up and stamping and fussy cutting for this doll right here. Super cute. And this one right here is Chiara. Chiara is so adorable. So, so adorable. So adorable. Love her. Love her little hair. And her little sash on the side. So, it's super cute. So, this was her. And oh, this is the mermaid, of course. I do not have her. I did not have any mermaid. Um, I do have Halloween. I have Mother's Day. I have um, Christmas ones. And then, of course, I have the the bloom ones. I don't have the princess dolls and I have to get the dyes now. So this is the mermaid one and the one I got for free is Avora. <gasps> love, 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 love her. Love her. Love her accessories. That hat is everything. So is that crown. But that hat is everything. And so is this belt. <laughs> Super cute. But this is the one I got for free. So, of course, you buy five, one, two, three, four, and five. You got the six, one, three. So, that was it, everyone. And on my way home, I stopped at Hobby Lobby. So, stay tuned for that. You wanted me to share what I got. So, there you are. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. So, I'll make more. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And keep watching. Stay tuned a for the making tapes. As we continue our making tapes here at the Scrapbook Expo in New Jersey, Edison, New Jersey. I'm here at Purple Daisy Designs. So let's take a quick peek around. These are all her designs. I will get her card and share her information with you guys so that you can order. But right now, we're going to watch what I make and take. So right now, I'm entering the face of my car. And, and check it out. Made this at Art Impressions. Right now, I'm going to color my little baby. Multi-task. 
Y'all know me, I like to be different. This is so adorable. Are Kobe? Big chow. and we used our brand new finger daubers, so triangular now, that we can get into the tiny detail areas. We used that to add a little bit of the pearlescent poppy color to our roses. Okay. For this larger layer, we went ahead with this tiny end, and we just poked along the outer edge, and then when we flipped it over, we switched it to the larger end, just slightly hanging on, starting in the middle, pulling down towards the center. Okay. So that gives us all the shape, we'll set that one aside, and then we'll go into our actual little butt. So okay. again, we're going to spritz with a little bit of water. This breaks up the fibers, makes it a little easier to work with. Okay. It's going to hold the shape beautifully when we're done. We're working on our shaping mat again, and we're switching back to the smallest end. Okay. Now with this technique, I'm going all the way around my petal with poking oh. even into the center a little because this is going to be the bud, and I want it to be nice and full. Okay. So we'll do that on every single petal. Here we go. Even into the very center. So we can just kind of snuggle these guys up together. It makes a beautiful little rosebud. And we are using the Dries Clear glue. It actually does dry clear and quickly. Add that precision tip for all the small details. And when we glue these today, we're just adding a little bit to any of the spaces um, on the petals that we know will be overlapping. And if we get a little too much, it's totally fine since it's going to dry clear. Okay. Now at home, we want to hold this until it's dry. Okay. It's going to make it sturdier and easier to build the layers around your rose bud. So I'm going to switch this out for one that's already dry. Okay. And we're going to flip this upside down, add a little bit of glue to the base, and then about halfway down, we can glue all the way around. We'll glue it into our next layer. And what I love to do is take one petal from either side to sandwich them in. Then I can go back, adding more glue to these other layers. There we go. They have the best. Another, and another. 
keep going around with these. Mm -hmm. Now the great thing is today we're just doing this bud and it looks beautiful as is, but if you wanted to create that larger flower, you could. But let's just finish this by adding a little bit of sparkle. We'll just add a little bit of the dry clear glue to the outer edges. Okay. And then we are going to dip this into some glass shards. Real glass. <laughs> and then also some glitter. What's the glitter shards? It's just a chunky look like. Yeah, it looks more like ice. Right now you can see it looks very foggy. But as it actually dries, it has more of this icy look. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. And if you change the color or your shaping technique, your flowers look completely different. So the classic rose is also this one here. This one here. This one. These over here. This one, the flat one. And then all of them that are on this board up here. So it does wow. offer a lot of options. Yeah. To create beautiful flowers. Yes. And you also have a special too. Yes, we do. At the shows, because our stamps and dies are separate, we have the booth special, which is four stamps and four dies. Mm -hmm. It would normally be two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Today it's a hundred and fifty. So nice. really you're buying a three and three and getting that fourth one free. And the great thing is you might already have one of these at home. We don't want you to get doubles. So you can choose any of your choice. Uh, and this is at all of our, our expo shows, which is wonderful. Um, and also, of course, you get home, if you forget the technique, you can always hop on to our website okay. and watch the tutorials. Yes! Beautiful. Thank you. And so this is day two at the Scrapbook Expo here at the Heartfelt Creations booth. And here she just gave a beautiful demonstration on how to make a rose bud. And we're going to check out and see what they have. So, yeah. Stay tuned. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize it took three videos to get through all of my haul, but it was so much fun and I had such a creative time, learned so many creative new things at the Scrapbook Expo there in Edison, New Jersey. So thank you for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe to my channel so that you can continue to follow my creative journey.